and welcome to the Fantasy News Show from the Bottled Imp. My name is Ken Boyter and this is your weekly fix of fantasy news. On this week's show, 31 typed pages are up for auction, Will Smith will be burning bright, and the Chronicles of Preyden will be returning to the big screen. But first we start with the fourth book in Marie Brennan's Memoirs of Lady Trent series. is published on the 5th of April. The book is called In the Labyrinth of Drakes and it's published by Tor Books and it features the study of dragon naturalism, which I love the idea of. Fantastic. Lady Trent has come from scholarly... scholarly can you say that? I can't. Uh, scholarly... I just genuinely can't say that word. Obscurity. Let's move on. To worldwide fame. And her latest exhibition takes her to the inhospitable deserts of Akaha. Now, I love this idea. It's that kind of Victorian explorer who goes to catalogue various different creatures and animals in in faraway exotic lands. And uh, obviously this one is all about dragons. And as everybody knows, I love dragons. So I've actually ordered my copy today. Fantastic. Snakewood is by Adrian Selby, and that's his first novel. It's published by Orbit, and it's just been published right now in hardback. And as I say, it's his debut novel, and he has a a background as a video games producer for several big studios, so he certainly knows, you know, about the whole entertainment business and how to tell a story. Um, The book itself does take place 15 years after the legendary mercenary crew Kellyan's 20 were disbanded and they're being killed off one by one. So it is a murder mystery, kind of like a crime murder mystery. So that's an intriguing idea. The story is told through found footage. And again, I really like that idea, found footage in a book. And the found footage is a collection of journals and interviews. um, And it's a record of their glory and ultimately their demise, and then eventually their survival as each of them is getting killed off one by one. So that does sound really, really intriguing. There is a long-lost Lovecraft manuscript up for auction. The Cancer of uh, Superstition, written by H.P. Lovecraft in 1926, was commissioned by escape artist and magician Harry Houdini. How bonkers is that? The Cthulhu author wrote 31 typed pages and is divided into three sections. The genesis of superstition, the expansion of superstition, and the fallacy of superstition. So this covers, yes, you've guessed it, superstition. And that covers in ancient and modern cultures. And it explores werewolves and other monsters, apparently. And also the worship of the dead and cannibalism. The book was never finished, though due to Houdini's uh, sad passing shortly after the commission. And it does form part of a magic memorabilia lot that includes Houdini's personal letters, scrapbooks, rare photos, film footage, posters, and of course, handcuffs. Uh, The pre-auction estimate is between $25,000 and $40,000 and takes place on the 9th of April from Potter & Potter Auctions in Chicago. So if you do have a few bob to spare, maybe you could uh, put in a bid. You never know, you might end up with some uh, long-lost manuscripts and a pair of handcuffs. The East Midlands Convention, or EMCON, or E-M-CON, is a sci-fi and fantasy convention focusing on TV and film. They have over 50 guests for you to meet. Actors from Star Trek, Doctor Who, and even a few from Game of Thrones will be there. They're also going to be cosplay and going to be loads of stalls full of merchandise, as you probably expect for you to buy, plus attractions such as a life-size TARDIS. So if you ever wanted your picture taken next to the TARDIS, you can do so. It has Cybermen there, Daleks, there's going to be Stormtroopers, and there's going to be a zombie cage. Now, not quite sure what that's going to be. I'm assuming it's a cage with lots of zombies in, but I guess you shouldn't get too close. It takes place on the 30th of April to the 1st of May at the Motor Point Arena, and that's in Nottingham. You can check out their website, which is, as I say, em-con.co.uk for all the details. Netflix is to finance a crime fantasy called Bright, starring Will Smith. They paid $90 million 
uh, to acquire this and the director is David Ayres and the writer is Max Landis. There was a bit of a bidding war that lasted two weeks apparently which saw Warner Brothers and MGM team up but well Netflix do seem to have the cash these days so they outbid them. The story is set in a world where orcs and fairies live alongside humans. Now I know ultimately in fantasy that isn't overly original but who knows what the rest of it's going to be like so exciting news there the production is to be scheduled for the beginning of autumn in los angeles disney have reacquired the rights to the children's fantasy novel the chronicles of praden and over 30 years ago the release of black cauldron in the cinemas happened and Disney is returning to that world, which was created by author Lloyd Alexander, that draws upon Welsh mythology. The studios are in really early development of the five book series, so who knows what bits they're gonna be covering, because apparently the Black Cauldron covered two of the books and not the, the remaining three. And this, the whole story tells of a, a coming of age story of Tarin, who's a lowly assistant pig keeper who dreams of becoming a hero which I love that concept. And that got me thinking. I remember watching The Black Cauldron. I don't remember too much about it. I remember thinking it was okay as a kid. But apparently it, it bombed at the box office and it's meant to be Disney's sort of lowest ebb in their history. So it'd be really interesting to see, to see what they're going to do this time around, knowing that they're, they're back on top form, you know, producing great stories. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I may even delve into the novels as well. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Cru uh, Cubicle 7, I was going to say Crucible 7, <laughs> Cubicle 7 announced that Dungeons & Dragons is coming to Middle Earth. The games company have plans to take Dungeons & Dragons, which they're going to make it compatible to the Tolkien Middle Earth realm. Um, obviously Middle Earth is the setting of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, which obviously you knew. And there is already an existing RPG that they make, The One Ring, and that's very successful. And that will be continuing, they'll still be supporting that. Uh, and it will still be a separate RPG. This new series, though, will uh, have a consultant on it, Francesco Nipitello, and he actually worked on The One Ring, so he's going to be working on this new series as well, so that's exciting. The RPG is set for a summer release. Kickstarter news. Metallic Dice have their Cat's Eye gemstone dice campaign, that's a bit of a mouthful, up and running. There are five different colours, they're all hand carved and they're made from stone. Yes, I didn't know this, but cat's eye is actually a gemstone that apparently looks like a cat's eye, so it's slightly translucent. They look really cool, there's pictures up there on their, on their campaign. And there's a range, each set has a range obviously of D size, so there's a D5 and a D6 and a D20. They're all full size, they're 16 millimetres, and this company is actually a family-run business, and they're based in Bloomington in Indiana. The campaign finishes on the 30th of March. Upside Down, Introverted Tropes in Storytelling Anthology is a collection of short fiction from Apex Publications. The collection includes short stories and poems as well, and it highlights the long-standing tradition of writers who identify tropes and cliches in sci-fi, fantasy and horrors, and then they twist all of those cliches into hopefully something new and interesting. So that, that, that sounds quite a, a unique idea there. The anthology is edited by Monica Valentinio, sorry, that's probably totally not how you pronounce her name, and Jam Gates, and it features 17 authors. That campaign is funded, but obviously you can still pledge if you want to, and that closes on the 26th of March, so be quick, you've only got three days. Shadows at the Door is an illustrated anthology of short horror stories from around the world. It's published and edited by Mark Nixon and features 13 authors, and they plan to publish an illustrated hardback, an ebook, and also an audio book with an original score as well so that's quite ambitious so you know good luck to them I, I'm all for people being creative and trying to stretch their you know creativity that campaign finishes on the 16th of April Girl Genius the City of Lightning is a graphic novel from studio Foglio love that name 
and features the ongoing adventures of Agatha Hetrodyne, who is a genius. She's a scientist and she's also an inventor. It's created by what looks like a husband and wife team, Phil and Kadja uh, Foglio. And this is an ongoing web comic series where they post their, their comics actually online at their website, which is girlgeniusonline.com. And once a year, they then publish everything that they've put up online into a hard and softback uh, graphic novel. So that's a really cool idea. And this is volume two of the second journey of Agatha Hetrodyne. And it's the 15th book. So they're well established. And not only that, this series has actually won three Hugo Awards for the best graphic story. So good pedigree. Recommend you check that one out. It finishes on the 13th of April. And of course, remember, we do have our own website, thebottledimp.com. Plus, you can check us out on our Facebook page. We put photos up there and little announcements, that kind of thing. And you can leave us comments and we will reply. Equally, if you leave us any comments about any of our reviews or any of our shows, we will reply to those. We, uh, we have a good track record on that. And, of course, we're on Twitter. But for now, fellow imps, that's all we have time for. Remember, keep it unreal especially the news.